everyone, welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today is Doodle and Sketch Day. Finally, it has arrived. This is my February Doodle and Sketch box. Um, and apparently there was a shipping issue, which is why it came so late. So I'm just gonna go right in and see what we've got here. I did not order the March box in time because I got all messed up with this whole this whole thing. So I'm going to talk to them and see if I can still get a March box, but I'm not sure if I can or not. So we shall see. But as you all know, the Doodle and Sketch boxes come in these 8 by 11 or 8 by 10 boxes. And I think they're 8.5 by 11. But anyway, uh, they jam pack these full of supplies. Now people have expressed concerns or frustrations about the boxes being expensive, but I will tell you that you get a lot of supplies and you get every single supply that you'll need to do a video tutorial that they have on their website. Also included besides their boxes, sometimes are authored boxes where you get an interview with the artist, um, but you also gain access to hundreds of video tutorials on their website. Now, the one drawback is that they're in Russian and at this point they're not subtitled. But I did speak with them again about that and they did say they are working on it. I know they have a new director now too, so I'm not sure what's going on there with the whole company or whatever. But anyway, um, these boxes run anywhere from 55 to about $70 each month US. Um, now when you go to their website everything is done in rubles but when you go to pay then it is converted converted to euros which is how they receive their currency and then it'll be converted for you to US dollars so that you know. It's done via PayPal. Now last month I had an issue with PayPal. I couldn't seem to get my PayPal to be accepted. They said that their, their um, PayPal in Russia told them that it was a problem on my end. My PayPal said it was a problem on Russia's end. And I did tell them that I used PayPal for multiple purchases and I didn't have a problem with any of my other purchases. But uh, anyway, the shipping also, I believe, is included. And that's about $15. So a box could run as high as about $80 to $85 but I've only seen that a couple times. Other than that, they are much lower and you will get, like I said, so many supplies in here. And once you're done using them uh, for the tutorial, you've got a ton of supplies to continue using. You can fill a watercolor palette with some of the watercolors you receive. They do multiple boxes. They do watercolors. They do pastels. They do uh, pencil, they do markers, they do oil painting, acrylic painting, but watercolor seems to be a mainstay for them. I know watercolor is very popular in Russia, so um, I choose watercolor most often because I'm a watercolorist, but I do also love pastel and I like oil painting, although I use water-soluble oil paints. So that's why I've never gotten an oil painting box from them. It is not a subscription, as one would think. You have to go to their website every month between the 10th and 20th of the month to order a box. They will not automatically withdraw money from your account. Uh, you do have to go and order it each time you want a box. And then you have access to those video tutorials for 45 days after um, your box arrives. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have any other questions regarding the box, you can ask me. Boxes are in Russia, like I said. So... Um, I believe this is a watercolor box, but I'm not sure. It's been so long. I ordered it in January. Like I said, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. And yes, it is a watercolor box. This is how it comes. And you get your card. We apologize for the inconvenience with the delivery. Oh, that is so sweet. And they sent me a Mission Gold sepia paint as an apology. Thank you, Doodle and Sketch. That is so nice of you. It was unnecessary, but very thoughtful. Thank you very much. 
It's so sweet of them. They give me snacks like usual. They're little protein bars. And let's see here. I got my blue fluff. Another protein bar. So you don't starve out there in the field when you're doing your <laughs> plein air painting. You get a, a, a little packet of Kleenex for sopping up water and stuff <coughs> and wiping brushes. And, oh, I got a pair of gloves, which I can desperately use. These are beautiful. They've got sequins on them, and they have like a fold thing here. Let me put one on. Oh, is that cool? Oh, it's like a double mitt. You can take this portion off if you want and just use it as a fingerless glove. Or you can put your gloves on like this. And then you've got it like this. And then this is the um, fingerless glove. This is a little bit tight in here. I might have to loosen that a little bit. Actually, it's loosening as I stretch it. So that's good. But they're very pretty. Thank you so much. Guess if you're a guy, this would be a nice gift for your girlfriend or wife or whatever. But thank you. These are beautiful. And then I have a little plastic watercolor palette. Very cute. It's the oval form. I got ooh a box of premium PWC paints, which is really awesome. Let's see here. I've got, it looks like I have main colors. I gotta open this box up. It's a heavy box, They're really heavy boxes. And wow, these are full size. I've got permanent red, permanent yellow, light viridian hue, cobalt blue, permanent violet, and burnt sienna. Really, really awesome colors. This is a really good box, and I'm so glad it was worth the wait. Very much worth the wait. Then I got another 7 by 9 and a half inch pad of Fabriano 25% um, cotton paper. This is their studio paper. And I'm trying to see, is this cold press? Yeah, cold press. 200 GSM, 90 pound cold press. And this is what I was using last month, I believe. Which is fine. That's, that's an okay thing. It'll be great for doing little studies on, too. Then I have a Rubloff Synthetic Number 2 brush. Round. And I have a... Squirrel, an imitation squirrel number eight. And I have a, and that's a mop. And then I have a Kalinsky and synthetic number six mop. It's like a round, but it's a mop. It's very big. You can see there. So we'll be using these brushes. I don't have this one. This is kind of nice. Or the synthetic. I do have a imitation squirrel synthetic in a number eight, I believe. No, wait, is that? Nope, that's my Raphael. But I do have some others. Here's one. This looks synthetic. And they're nice. This is an imitation squirrel number 12. And then here I have the number eight. So these brushes are nice to have. And they're great for also in the field. If I lose one, I'm not going to be freaking over losing a, you know, a $30 paintbrush or something like that. So I got those three. So here's everything I have in the box. I've got the paper, the palette, six, a set of six primary colors, PWC paints. I'm going to open this lid up again so that you guys can see. And... I have the three paint brushes, an extra paint that they gave me for my trouble, for the mix up on my shipping, my Kleenex, my snacks, pair of gloves, and that's everything that I got in my box this month, which is really, really awesome. 
I guess I should take this out because that wasn't a regular part of the box. So, um, but anyway, this is, this is everything that I received. So you see, you receive a ton of stuff and it's quality, quality stuff. And you know, I like to have these extra little mixing palettes. I can use them for giveaways. I thought I dropped something. I did. I lost a brush already. Oh, here it is. Got my back. Oh, I can use them for giveaways. I can also use them like um, out plein air painting or something, and that kind of thing. Uh, I do like to use my porcelain palettes when I'm indoors, and that's nice to have. But I'm going to go ahead and get us started on our painting, and we'll see what we have. And I'm also going to contact them and see if it's too late for me to get in on the March box. It might be because it's already March, so we'll see. But anyway, let's turn the camera around and get started on the painting. I was also playing around with the gloves here, and this is what they look like if you take the um, outer glove off and just use the, the uh, fingerless portion of the glove. Really nice. I'm just going to clean out these couple of spots on my palette here and put down some new paint. I painted this once. I didn't like the way it turned out. I was too distracted, and I'm going to try again, but I'm getting distracted again because I got so much going on today. Today is Ash Wednesday. Got to hit church. I got to make dinner. I got to get over to my to the store to look at kitchen cabinets and make decisions on appliances and all that stuff for my house so I've, I'm gonna go 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 um, this is just a little potted plant with a little fairy or something sticking out of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by mixing up some gray and I need to use some burnt sienna and my blue which is cobalt but that'll still be fine it's not ultramarine but it'll work and Put some of this out and I'm going to start with the little fairy girl here and grab my blue this makes kind of a greenish gray so I'm going to add quite a bit more blue in here to really change it I didn't grab enough blue it doesn't look like all right, I can always grab more. There, yeah, that's about the color I want. So, I'm just going to wet my brush a little more. And then I'm going to switch this over to my small brush here. And I'm just going to start by painting in the shadows and stuff. Um, <coughs> look at my reference. I did it when I did it the last time. I had lotion on and I ruined the paper. So I had so much resist going on and it was not helping me at all. So now my paper is better. don't want to hurry through this. I'm afraid I'm going to, and then I'm going to mess it up. I should just save it for another day, but I'm running out of days. Tomorrow I have a real estate agent coming over to look at her house, and I told my husband, I'm not ready for that. What the heck you doing? He's like, what? The house looks fine. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It looks horrible. It's cluttered and messed up, and ugh, not ready at all to bring somebody to look and give us an idea of what we can get for it. There was a house on our in our subdivision right around the corner. It was a tri-level, which are harder to sell in this area. 
um, ranches and colonials are the the one that everybody seems to want. I'm in a colonial, and they're usually worth more money than a tri-level, but this tri-level sold in three days, she says. She says. But we've got some red flags going on with this woman, too. Her real estate company, we looked it up, and it goes to a house. So it must be her own company, and she works alone, which is fine as long as she does a good job. And then um, we looked up her name, which is just a first name and a middle name, no last name. And we could not find her on the real realtor registry anywhere. So we have quite a few red flags happening. And it's kind of making us wonder. What's going on here? So we'll see. Now, I'm wiping on those gloves. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm going to shake this for a minute. I broke my Unipod. I got to get a new one So, for filming. Okay, let me keep moving here. I want to get this done here. Oops, there's a hair on this. Looks like I lost a little piece. Got to change brushes now to this bigger one. And I need to erase something here. I got a piece of the dress that I don't. There we go. Sorry, I'm sniffling. I got a cold going on still I've been trying to get rid of and haven't quite got there yet but I'm getting there we had a really nice night last night my stepmother-in-law came over she's the only one surviving on my husband's side of the family parent wise and she wanted to talk to my husband about hearing aids because he wears hearing aids. His, he's pretty much deaf if he doesn't have them in. Runs in my husband's family. My son was born with a hearing uh, disability, and he compensates now. He doesn't wear hearing aids. He prefers not to, but he knows sign language and all of that so he can get by but he can also speak and he does hear but he does a lot more lip reading he's got to be facing you otherwise you can say something to him in a room and he's not going to hear you although he's adapted very well when he was young it was harder He had a teacher in third grade when he had his hearing aid. He was embarrassed to go to school. So he had, she had a deaf man come in. He lived in our subdivision. His family, the parents are deaf. The kids were hearing. And he had him come in and explain deafness and the whole thing and hearing aids. And Justin was like super cool to everybody. They all thought he was just the cat's meow after that, which was nice because then he wasn't picked on for it, you know. My other son was picked on a lot, bullied in school. And that was horrendous. We had to put him in private schools. That was bad. But now they're 30. How old are they? 85. They're 33? Yeah, 33. Wow. Time flies. I had him when I was 12. Okay, 
she went so much slower on this. The, the video was like, I don't know, hour and a half long. I'm going to try to zoom through this. It won't be my absolute best work, but I'm giving it the time I have. This is, I think this is a crown. We will see. I have to come back to it because it's, um, I don't want to get the hand messed up. Okay, and then the stick coming down from her belly. Okay. Now going to use that same stuff and I'm adding some brown into it. That's better. Now, if the color streaks at all, it's not a big deal because it'll look kind of like it's uh, granulating. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm just concentrating. Now, I'm going to let that go and do this one more time. There we go. Now, I'm going to take my green and mix that up. I'm just going to get rid of this gray here. And I need a little bit of my Viridian. And some yellow.
Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And you can continue to watch me because this is going to take a while. So. I'm really sorry that I painted this entire pot off frame, but basically all I did was mix some brown, put on a diluted version over almost the entire pot, leaving the right hand side a little bit lighter uh, for the light coming from that side. Then I went back with darker brown and I put the lines across for where the weaving would have been. And then I just swept up on an angle here and there to make it look like woven straw and that's pretty much all I did. Here you'll see me just adding some of my purpley blue color to my brown in order to make it more black looking so that I can put more dirt in the potted area. Well, you'll have to forgive me for flying through this. Um, I kind of did this way too fast. So it's not as neat and pretty as it should be. But um, it was a cute painting. I'm just, I, I've just got too much on my mind today. And I'm, my mind's wandering and not doing what it should. And, and uh, so I'm not doing my best work. But it was fun. And she's easy to follow, even though she doesn't speak English. I didn't have any trouble following her, so I don't think you all would either. And that's pretty much it. Then you just sign your painting, and you are done. And uh, I did get a little bowing with this paper, but it wasn't too bad. I just tore it. Oops. That's all right. I wasn't going to keep this painting anyway, but I just tore the corner. But anyway, that's, that is it. So, um, I will let it dry and then I'll post a photo of it. But in the meantime, everybody be courageous, paint with wild abandon. Most of all, be kind to each other and try a doodle and sketch box because they're really good. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.